Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about something completely different. I have got shingles and this is my experience. I want to give this to you while I feel okay. It's really, really, really painful and right now I am feeling able to do it and I want to do it before the rash clears up. So shingles is just basically the chicken pox virus. It lays dormant in your system. If you've had chicken pox when you're a kid, you still have it. It just is dormant in your system. Now, people who have like weakened immune systems can get shingles, which is chicken pox basically coming back. And I have a weak immune system because I have Crohn's disease. So I have got shingles. This is the first time. I want to share with you guys how the first signs, because it is really important that you get help as soon as possible because shingles attacks your nerves even though the rash is like super gross i know i'm super gross right now but don't care and my face is like completely numb but it attacks the nerves so you can have permanent nerve damage if you don't get it treated right away it's not contagious i posted a picture online of my neck and people are trying to tell me it was contagious people are dumb they were trying to tell me that i have hiv which uh, <laughs> definitely don't, don't worry about it. Uh, it's not contagious. If I was around somebody who's never had chicken pox, I could give them chicken pox, but this is, you won't get shingles. Especially if you've already had chicken pox, it's already in your system. So if you're listening to this right now, this could happen to you. So the first sign uh, that I should have been paying attention to was I woke up on Thursday. Today is Thursday. Dun, dun, dun. I woke up on Thursday and I had this really, really bad pain in my neck. And I thought that I slept on my neck weird. Little did I know, it was just the cursor to the worst week of my life. So I wake up and I have this stiffness right here and in my jaw. And I took some ibuprofen thinking I just slept on my neck weird. And on Friday, I woke up, still I had stiffness. I went to work. I was rubbing my jaw a lot, right here where you see some of the blisters. The worst of it for me is behind the, like around my ear. See, I don't even know if I'm showing you this right now or if uh, there's like nothing, I, I have no fucking clue. But, so I'm rubbing it and I thought that I had an ear infection and I thought I had a stiff neck. So I'm rubbing it, I'm at work serving people. It's not contagious, don't worry. I know some of you are like, man, you shouldn't have been. I didn't know, okay, okay. So I'm rubbing it and then I see like a little bit of a rash forming. And I text my brother who's a doctor and I was like, hey, I think I have an ear infection because right here it's hurting so bad. And he's like, well, you have a little rash. And I'm like, yeah, because I've been rubbing it. <sighs> little did I know that I was going to die. So the next day, I buy all these eardrops, all this stuff at CVS, by the way, which I'm returning, telling them that uh, it was unsatisfactory, which it was because it didn't do shit. Uh, and I bought nasal spray, spent like $50 on things. And it just isn't getting better. So on Saturday, the rash had spread and I started to get this like numbness, which you hear right now in my voice, and I was like, okay, there's definitely something weird going on. But my dumbass did nothing still. And on Sunday, it was like full blown uh, grease neck. I don't even know what to call it. It was, it's just been like this red disaster. Call me the red disaster, that's me. Uh, and it just started to spread a lot. So if you wake up and you have like a terrible pain somewhere and you see a little bit of the rash, that is the time to go to the hospital. I did not want to go to the hospital because A, I don't have insurance, so I didn't want to pay for that. And I'm very cheap, cha-ching, so I didn't want to do that. But I read online, it was like, if you think that you have shingles, you have to go to the hospital because there can be permanent nerve damage if you don't get it taken care of right away. And I'm glad I did go to the hospital as soon as possible because obviously I'm a disaster. 
right now. I'm so swollen. I look like I let some homeless guy jerk off on my neck or something. So <laughs> it's best in your best interest. I went like three days in. It's in your best interest to go before the three days to get rid of it as soon as possible and avoid permanent damage. Can you imagine? I hate that word, permanent, permanent. I don't even like Sharpies because it's too much, too permanent for me. Uh, yeah, the worst thing about it is the pain. It is extremely painful. I can't even express to you how painful it is. It's so bad. Um, and just feeling tired all the time. When the pain medicine wears off, I'm on some good pain medicine right now. I got that Norco party. But when that wears off, like in the middle of the night, I wake up in excruciating pain. Like I'm crying. I have like a heat feeling all through my arm, all over my hand. I feel like really, really, really hot. And it feels like somebody's ripping the muscle off the bone of my neck. And my ears are my ears ringing. It's awful. I also have not been able to go out because I'm obviously a leper, and only like the grace of Jesus could cure me right now. I need Jesus to put His hands on me because yeah, I haven't been going out because I look crazy. And right now I feel good, but some of the times I think I ha I'm going to die. So I don't want to be out and about when that happens. So what the doctor gave me for this is he gave me some very strong pain medicine. He actually told my boyfriend, he was like, this is a really, really, really one of the most painful things someone can go to because, go through because it attacks the nerves. And he goes, I see grown men come in here and cry. And that made me feel a lot better because I was crying. And it gave my boyfriend some perspective because he was like, oh, just be a tough, tough it out. And it's, I hate when people are like that because you don't know what I'm going through, you know? So the doctor let him know that he was wrong and I was right and it was really painful. And he actually was the one who was like, you need to go to the hospital, my boyfriend was, because he was like, it, this looks like you have shingles. So he was right. Anyway, um, he gave me like Valtrex, which is like a herpes medication, but I guess shingles is like a form of Herpes is a form of chickenpox, and chickenpox is a form of herpes or whatever. Even like herpes in your mouth, that's like all the same kind of thing. It's not like the genital kind, but it's still gross. Uh, and then he gave me the pain medicine, and then he gave me some prednisone. So if you are experiencing any of these, if you're watching this, you're probably experiencing some of these symptoms, go to the doctor. There's if you don't have insurance, there are like programs you can qualify for to make your visit free, especially if they find out you do have shingles. Do not write it out. It is so painful. You will not be able to do it. Take my advice. Go to the doctor. And everyone, please just take care of yourself. I'll give you guys an update. And I'll include some pictures of when it was like when it was starting out. I know I look crazy, but I'm still beautiful on the inside. Thank you so much, you guys, and hopefully by my next video, I'll be better.